ain't tell me shit. Yeah. Remember I was broke. Yeah. I have Couture the host, and you're now tuned into an exclusive interview with Miami hottest designer Gucci Escobar. How are you today? Okay, I'm, I'm feeling these shades, Gucci. <laughs> Geechee, whole lot of designer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What inspired this piece? Um, well, I always, a lot of people always ask me, do I make men clothes and stuff like that? So mm -hmm. I, I had like a process of, you know, pretty much me starting to make men clothes. So I just decided to, I, I got inspired. I actually seen someone like with like a Fendi, the Fendi jacket. Mm -hmm. You ever seen the Fendi? So I got inspired and I was just like, it would be dope to put my own brand name, you know, and just rock it and just bring it from there. So these are like, this is like my branded shirt pretty much. I like love it because usually, you know, everyone have the, you know, simple, you know, have their name on there, but you use a fabric yeah. and that's what makes it stand out the yeah, most. Yeah, I definitely wanted a pop. Like, so, you know, like I didn't want it to just look like a regular branded shirt. That's why right. I just did the colors and, you know, just made it pop and everything like that. This is actually sheep, like sheep kind of material. That's what they would call it. Oh, very rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of branding, how did you start your business, Geechee Escobar? Before I started my business, you know, I just pretty much was just learning from different business owners, you know, just getting tips and just knowing things to do to start it, you know, what I got to do so in case, you know, somebody tried to sue or right. anything like that, just like the legal procedures and everything like that. So I just pretty much learned from other business owners and stuff like that. So. How did you get your business name? Is that your name or well, that's, that's something so you came up with? <laughs> that's funny. I actually came up with it. It's my name and I came up with it as well. Nice. Yeah, so um, my nickname is Michi, which is what my family called me, you know, stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, my friend came up one day and he was like, um, Gigi Gusto. Like he just said, Gigi Gusto. And I was like, hmm, Gigi Gusto. Like I changed my Twitter name to that. So. I was like, when I actually was starting to like find a name like for my brand, mm -hmm. you know, and everything like that for my clothes, I was like, hmm, Geechee. And then I was like, Escobar, which is part of my last name because my last name is Escarmin. Right. So I just kind of mixed it all in and just kind of gave it my own little touch. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that, that's pretty much how I came up with the name. To me, I think it's so important how you brand yourself. Right what you brand yourself with and what you connect yourself with when you're trying to brand yourself. Um, how did you know that that was the name for you? Um, I honestly didn't know. I changed the name like so many times. Right. I was, it was it was Geechee, Geechee, Geechee clothing. <laughs> and it was like Geechee Escobar clothing. But, you know, I just told myself like I have to find a name and just stick with it and go hard with it. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, you know, it's, it, it's really, it's, it is kind of hard to find a name, but I just feel like my name was so unique and different. Mm -hmm. And, every, you know, I was getting so many compliments, like, wow, this name is, you know, it's so unique, it's different. Like, I like it, and I just went hard with it. Like, I just uh -huh. took hard with it and just put my name out there in so many words. Right. Let's take a stroll down memory lane. At what moment did you say, I can really do this for the rest of my life? When I start sending that money, no, I'm just Ooh, playing. <laughs> honey, money moves, literally. Nah, money but I'm moves. just joking. Uh, I mean, honestly, before you know, I have a big brother, so I had a big brother that was like in the fashion industry. You know, like mm -hmm. I, I was meeting, you know, like different celebrities, like ASAP Rocky, Fabulous, you know, like big people, Rick Ross. You know, I was just meeting. right. So I was like in that fashion industry, and like when Art Basel, Art, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, Art mm -hmm. Basel, yeah, mm -hmm. Art Basel. Um, you know, it was a time when it came around and I was just like, you know, getting introduced to styluses, like every, you know, just all different kind of people, right. different kind of fields and stuff like that. So, um, I know, I know what, what made me really realize that I can do this when I was just like getting my eye opener to like the different lifestyle, you know, right. not, not just the regular, you know, what people don't really get a chance to see. So from that point, you know, when me started making clothes and stuff like that, and I started seeing like how people was really liking my designs, mm -hmm. and, you know, they was really like going up for my designs. I was like, okay, like that, that's, that's, that's motivation to me. Like just right. to see someone in my dress like you know looking bomb like it just makes me just want to go even harder so that's when i knew for a fact i can do this for a lifetime you know what i'm saying just to make somebody else happy you know what i'm saying right so words, so. and by the way i am wearing Gucci escobar and i'm <laughs> loving it this is my favorite color i absolutely love lavender so <laughs> i'm in heaven 
and I had to take a moment to get myself together because he's yeah. like this, like it's <laughs> him, he's really here. But what was your first piece that you ever made? Um, my first piece that I ever made, it was like a, it was just a simple blue dress, like deep V with the hips out. Okay. Like I was, it was my first dress. It was like, it, now that I'm looking at it, it's terrible. I actually still have a picture of it, but that was like we my, gotta get yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> that was my first dress. And then from there, like I just, you know, just pretty much just started making random stuff. You know, I started out with lycra. You know what I'm saying? Lycra mm -hmm. is just like a very stretch fabric and stuff okay. like that. So. That was from there, I just took off from there, just making whatever, just doing whatever, whatever came to my mind then, that's just how it, that's how it happened. And at what age were you? Uh, I was like, I think I was like 17. Wow. Yeah, I was like 17. Wow. And you're how old now? I'm 22 now. Wow. Yeah, I'm 22 now. <laughs> so basically, it took you not even 10 years. Yeah, not. To not even, even brand yourself, to become popping. And everybody, when they see your pieces, they know who it's from. Right, right, right. That's amazing. Would you say consistency, consistency is the key? Yeah, consistency is definitely the key. You know, like, I learned to strategize, you know, in this business, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I know that, you know, to keep yourself relevant, to keep yourself, your name out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, I just strategize. Like, I know what to do, you know, who to network with, you know, how many times to post on Instagram, you know right. what I'm saying? So, and it was a time before, like, you know, I started strategizing. I used to have a thing where, you know, I used to sit back. Like, I would sit back and I would just, like, just... Hyperventilate. What is that the right word? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hyperventilate. Hyperventilate. Not hyperventilate. I said hyperventilate. I'm sorry. It's well, okay. I'm sorry. Hyperventilate. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I used to like pretty much just hyperventilate and just like come up with different ideas because I knew that you know there was other designers. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I knew that. You know, I once when I every, every time I wanted to release a piece, I wanted to release something that someone else is not doing. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, I didn't want to follow the trend. Exactly. Was like my mindset when I first started, you know, designing. And I definitely think it worked and it helped. And I definitely think that you know any up and coming designers, they definitely should you know follow that strategy. Just do your own thing, whatever mm -hmm. comes to your mind. You know, that's just just go with it. Just being unique. Yeah, just being you. Yeah. You um, talked about Instagram a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. How important do you think it is for people who have a business to utilize their social networks? Very important. Very important. Um, I think right now in this in this time, mm -hmm. um, I feel I definitely feel like you know you know back then it was like word about word about word about is still exactly. good. Exactly, it's still good. It is. Um, but you know, social media is definitely taking people places. Like it's taking people far you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? so i definitely think that if you have the power and you know you have the the source you have right. the people definitely use it i definitely think that social media will get you exactly where you want to be because right now like that's where everyone is finding everybody at exactly. you know what i'm saying like that's the only way you can find them half of the time a lot of people don't have facebook they don't right. have twitter you know what i'm saying so that's where you can pretty much find the most popular people as usually on instagram I I completely agree. And I had a conversation with a young lady today, you know, about chasing your dreams mm -hmm. and you're not going to know how to get from point A to point B. Right. But one thing I know about this generation, we have too much, too much technology to not be chasing our dreams, to not make it, you know, happen. You know, generations before, like you say, they had word of mouth. They didn't have much Mm -hmm. to brand itself off of so it's it's not that hard to it's hard because you have to sacrifice so much yeah you know you have to sacrifice your sleep yeah. you have to sacrifice having fun i'm more than sure a lot of times you want to you know go out with your friends but you right. might have to get something done right. but what advice would you give to someone who's trying to get started um, in being a designer i definitely think um I mean, the advice I would definitely give is just keep going at it, like, keep mm -hmm. until you perfect it. Like, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't able to learn how to 
dude is. You get what I'm saying? When I first started, so I definitely was. I I, I honestly don't. I never used like any pad, and I did everything off the top of my head. You get what I'm saying? So. Pretty much, I definitely feel like if you're an up and coming designer and you're trying to get out there, I definitely think just keep going at it. Like, even if you fail, even if you feel like, you know, it didn't come out how you want it, mm-hmm. maybe you may not turn around and do it over again right then, but still try it. You get what I'm saying? Because eventually you're going to get it. Once you continue to keep trying, you know, it, it, will, it will fall through. It will, right. it will fall through. It'll definitely fall through. So I definitely think that if you're an up and coming designer and you're trying to put yourself out there just... Just keep going and just keep going hard. Just keep going hard and you'll definitely get where you want to be. You'll definitely get where you want to be. That's real. And I just can't. I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to you. Mm-hmm. But I just can't because from the side of my eye, I keep seeing this bad piece <laughs> behind me. Yeah. So what is, what is the inspiration behind this lovely piece, honey? Uh, well, I haven't came up for a name for it just yet, mm-hmm. but um, because that's I usually do that, I just come up with names for my dresses. I feel like they give me more of my touch, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, it, it just makes a person feel you know, feel good, feel different. Mm-hmm. You know, when they explain this, I feel oh, I have on a such and such piece by Gigi Yes, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But um, what made me pretty much come up with this idea, um, I, I honestly just seen like a wedding dress. And you know, I was just like, I was very inspired by it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can turn that into something that's like very birthday nightwear. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just pretty much got inspired by a wedding dress and I just did my own touch, you know, my different fabric with mm-hmm. this AB um, lace and feathers. And I just went from there and just took off. That's pretty much it. I <laughs> love it. What celebrities would you just love to see your pieces on? Beyonce. <laughs> I'm here. I'm right. Like, hello. <laughs> Just kidding. But Beyonce, that's my girl. I love her. Yeah, Beyonce for sure. Like Beyonce and Kim. Kim, Kim Kardashian. K? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm both of them. I like, just, I want the whole Kardashian family. You was slay them. Yeah. I, yeah, I can I, see your pieces on them. Yeah, I can see my pieces on them too. But yeah, it's in the in good time. In good time. time. In good time. You almost there, honey, because yeah. everybody in Miami knows about Gigi Escobar. Thank you. But I want some fun facts from you. Okay. You know, <laughs> we're not going to just make it about, you know, the designs. we got to make it fun too. Okay. What's your favorite candy? Uh, Tissy Rose. Really? Yeah. Very different. I can eat Tootsie Rolls like all day. The chocolate ones? <laughs> yes. I, even the flavored ones. Wow. Yeah, Tootsie Rolls is like my favorite candy. That's a very unique candy. And I rarely eat candy, but Tootsie Rolls, I can, you can buy me a bag of Tootsie Rolls and I'll eat every bag. Wow. <laughs> That's how good they are. That's crazy. What's the most embarrassing moment you ever had? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, embarrassing moment. Um, I guess you can say, I guess at one time I was at Universal Studios and it was raining mm-hmm. and I was trying to get up the escalator and I like almost fell, like all, just almost bust my ass. That's not too bad. No, that was embarrassing. Universal Studios but all that those is people. a lot of <laughs> That was a lot of people and it was raining too, so you know. I probably was trying to, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Almost. But it's it, okay. That was embarrassing though, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't really have, that was, I would say that's like the most embarrassing moments for me, honestly. Wow. Yeah, I would think so. That's not too, too bad. It's not too, it's too bad. It's a little bad, I'm but a, not. You know, I'm going to come back one. I'm going to come back one. Next part two <laughs> interview. Yeah. But what was, um, what has been your favorite piece designed this far? Uh, I mean, I really don't have a favorite piece, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think all my pieces that I make, I'll be so in love with. They so are making. Like, yeah, so it's just like, I love all my pieces. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, everything I made is my favorite piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can put something in. I can put someone in something that I made last year or, you know what I'm saying? Something that I think that will look good. You know, I just have an eye for girls. Like, mm-hmm. if I see you, I see your personality, and, you know, I could just tell you what, what, what you're going to wear. Like, what I feel is if you should wear. And I feel like that's what makes you more than just a designer. Right. Because you, you do more than just design. You try to capture the personality of the person and create something that brings out who they really are. Correct, yeah. And I love that. Like, this this is so <laughs> me, you know. Yes. I love it. The bottom, it reminds me of my personality because I'm very fun. I'm very free. Yeah. And this part up here, you know, I like to have clothes that's, you know, sexy, 
but not too much. Right, you know, right, my right, mom right. always taught me, you know, if you're going to have something revealing at the top, you know, make sure you have something at the bottom that's covering you up. Right, right. So this outfit is so me. <laughs> and Gucci will get anybody together. <laughs> together. Uh, exactly. As you can see. <laughs> but, um, favorite chips? <sighs> Well, right now my favorite chips are the Ritz, um, the Ritz baked chips, sour onion and cream. Okay. Yeah. You are too unique, though. Like <laughs> you're so unique. I'm just not like no regular glazed. So chips. no, no <laughs> hot chips, no <laughs> hot fries, hot puffs. Um, <laughs> I definitely like hot chips, um, but I really eat them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I really, I'm really not a, I'm a snack person, but it's, it's like come in and out. Like mm -hmm. once in the blue moon, I just be so in for snacks. But mm -hmm. then the next minute, I just don't care about snacks. So yeah. I definitely think that the Ritz right now is like my favorite chip right now. The Ritz sour onion cream. Okay, I'm going to have to try that. Cause yeah, you I, definitely should. I tried some baked chips, but I never tried that flavor before. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So I'm definitely gonna, you know, see if you put me on to something. <laughs> what award show would you like to see first your piece at? Mad Gala. Yes. Oh, Mad Gala. Yes. Yeah, I have the I have I have to see my pieces there. I have to. If they said Geechee for this year, you're gonna be the one to choose the theme. And your piece is gonna be the first piece they see on the red carpet. What theme would you choose? Uh, this is black and diamonds. Oh. Maybe black diamonds. I see diamonds. The guys Ooh. wearing all black. The girls just like in all diamonds. Like, so I'm just, I would say black diamonds. That's just a theme that I came up with in my head. That <laughs> is lit. Yeah, I like. I think black diamonds are good. That's dope. Other than yourself. What designer you just love? Can't get enough of. Uh, Bob man. Mm. Oliver. Mm. I, I can't. Like Oliver is every day, every time I see a ball man dress that Kim got on is just so inspirational. She like it's it, it, classy yeah, and yes, sexy. Yes, it's it just everything. Me, everything. I like it. I like I think Oliver definitely does a good job mm -hmm. when it comes to designing and stuff like that. And Monday, I, I that's where I want to be. Pretty much, in so many words. Like I want to, I put just with my own brand. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. instead of having like another designer with my brand, I would rather be like Oliver, just with my own brand, as large as that. Okay. So yeah. Well, we have a few fun facts from Geechee, but I want to know: Is it any competition, or do you think it be beef <laughs> with the designers in Miami? Um, honestly, I really don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's any competition with me, honestly, because I really don't feel like I have any competition. Mm. Honestly, I just feel like... Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> I honestly just feel like, you know, I'm in my lane, you know, I mm -hmm. do my own thing, and you know, that's just how it is now. I know, you know, it's, it's other designers in Miami, but I don't really too much care for them. I know that, you know, DG Escobar is definitely going to be at the top sooner or later. Exactly, and yeah. I love your mentality because it's competition everywhere, yeah, to be definitely. real. Yeah. It's always going to be somebody who probably looks better, talk better, have better. But it's that mindset that you have to have to not really care for that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I don't really... I, and I, I mean, I'm sure that there's people out that compare me with other designers and stuff like that, but... I don't, I see past that, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, yeah, so I'm, I'm confident in my work. Exactly, and that's one thing I have learned in life overall. Do you, be you, and have confidence because nobody gonna do it the way you do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could design something, but it's not gonna be the way you do it. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, we're all our own individual. And I just really want people to know, just be confident. Don't worry about the next person to the side of you. Because at the end of the day, what's for you will always be for you. No matter what. And no man can ever stop that. It's no competition. But what? We all can win. And I feel like if we all come together, we all can, you know, it will be even more easier to put Miami on the map. Yeah, I definitely think that Miami is definitely not the city 
that like mm-hmm. try to help each other. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Not. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. You just have to have that mindset. You have to have that 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 heart. You know, you gotta go hard to get yourself out. You know what I'm saying? They always say it's like Miami's like crabs in a bucket. But I just feel like I'm just not gonna be that crap that somebody's gonna be pulling down. You know what I'm saying? Like regardless of the case, I'm definitely gonna get out of my head. Like my brain is gonna get further than what it is. So y'all watching this interview, just remember I said that. Yes, honey. <laughs> Throughout your this um journey mm-hmm. and being a designer, what do you think has been the most important thing you have learned throughout this journey? Um, the most important thing I have learned. Mm, never just stand firm behind your brand. Wow. Yeah, just st- I would say stand firm behind your brand. Like, cause you you you're gonna get a lot of people that's gonna come and try to compare. You're gonna get a lot of people that's gonna come and and you know try to get. You know they may they may consider it as like you know constructive criticism. Like you know just pretty much trying to help you out, but. In actuality, if you you know if you stand firm behind your brand, how I feel, I feel like you'll definitely get far. I don't, you know, right. I had people come into my, you know, my life, pretty much my brand, come, you know, in so many words, just trying to tell me like, oh, I think you should do this, I think you should do that, and you know, a lot of times, if you, I just feel like if you listen to people and you know what they think for your brand, then it's not your brand no more. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's not you. Like it has to be you. It has to be something that you feel, what you want, what you like. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I just say just care less about what anybody would be anybody else have to say towards your brand and just do you. Like yeah. Just stay in firm behind your brand. Definitely. Twenty seventeen is almost over. What can we expect from your brand in twenty eighteen? Um, well, twenty seven. Well, it's almost over, so you it definitely is. can expect like a lot of collabs from here on out, like from here on out. So I love I'm it. definitely collabing with like a lot of big time people. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely can expect that. Um, I'm gonna definitely get a little more artsy with it. You know, mm-hmm. just just bring a different feel. Like I don't want to just like I said, I don't want to just be that regular designer. Like right. oh, this Gucci as well. Like, like I want to wow people. You know, yes. I want to do things that's different. You know, so. That's pretty much it. Um, just expect a whole new Gucci Escobar and, you know, just different things. Yes, and I'm going <laughs> to give you shoulders snaps for that. <laughs> but any last words to the camera? It's been so much fun getting to know who you are Thank and you. not just what your brand is. Any last words, social networks, they can visit you at your website. Um, you can go to my Instagram, which is Geechee es- well, Geechee.Escobar, um, which is G-E-C-H-E, period, E-S-C-V-A-R. That's my Instagram. And then you have my website, which is GeecheeEscobarCo.com. And you can go ahead and pretty much purchase all my latest designs. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all social networks, at Couture the Host. It's the wrap. I am Couture, the host. (laughs) (laughs) Yay! I love it! See, it wasn't hard, was it? No, it wasn't. See, you were feeling it.